If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. Best first place to get started, guys. As a real estate agent using Canva, over here on the left, you're going to want to go to brand. I'm actually going to do this. View, zoom in. View, zoom in. All right. So over here on the left, you're going to want to go to brand. And you're going to notice brand templates. I'm going to give you some things on the top. So you're going to want to go to brand. With this, what you want to do is your brand kits. So once you click on brand, you're going to want to click on brand kits, guys. To me, best place to get started right here, your brand kits. What this essentially means is I'm going to click on mine. So you guys can see which ones are already in mine. In my brand kit, I have all my logos ready to go. So this way, on all of the things that I create, I'm going to click on my brand. You're going to see how I do that later. So you want to start with your brand kit. This is where you guys get your logos for your team, for your brokerage, and your area inserted into here. This is where you guys get your colors, your color palette, whether it's your EXP color palette, your Freedom Team color palette, your team color palette, and what you have in here. We also different fonts that you guys want to have, as well as your brand voice. Your brand voice, which is going to be big for the AI features that they are coming out with. So your brand voice will literally help you create more images, create better images that go with your brand voice as well. You can't add photos and graphics. I didn't go too deep into this. So minimal effective dose, guys. Minimal effective dose going into this. Canva AI live show. I don't know. All right. I can never respond to the chat, but here we go. So your brand is where you get started. So with this, if you guys want to create a new brand kit, all you got to do is add new and you insert your brand kit. So creme de la creme, top shelf of real estate. If I ever start my real estate team, that's going to be it. Creme de la creme, the top shelf of real estate. So we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Very simple. This is where you just, right here, you click. You upload your logos. You go into your color palettes. So that way you get your colors and your team colors into it. You can select the fonts that you want for your title, subtitle, and more. Go into this. You can choose a font. See the different ones. So we can use this here, as well as your brand voice. And that is where you get started. And here's the simple answer as to why. I'm just going to click on something random in here, not one that other people have chosen. Let's say for this individual, open house, or this one right here. If you guys see this picture, it's not branded to me whatsoever, right? The reason I always say to get started here is all you would have to do is on the left-hand side, click on your brand once it is created, and then click shuffle. And all of a sudden, I know it's just the little dots in here, the lines, but it starts changing the colors for what you are looking for. And also, if I use the Creme Institute one, it has my logos and things in here as well. So that way I can get rid of their logo, drop my logo into here as well, along other things. The reason I always say start with your, your brand and your information is because it makes it a lot easier when you have different images, different pictures that are in here. You just go over to your brand. You can switch the color schemes at a click of a button. You have your logos, your information. So that way I can put through my logo here and then add different pictures through my uploads over here. Uploads. And that way you can just literally drag and drop. It looks like I did this one before. Drag and drop your different things over here on the left. And all of a sudden, you start designing your own graphics. What I'm going to get into next is just the home menu for chat for Canva. 
whole menu for Canva. So first, create your brand kits. That's where you're going to start to be able to brand everything that you need. And then it's just understanding what, what you can do on Canva. And like I said, I want to keep this minimal effective dose. As a real estate agent, what are certain tasks that you are going to be coming to Canva for? Let's start with the very easy one. Just listed, right? You probably see people create just listed images. You might create some yourself. To me, easiest thing to do is right here at the top menu. Search your content. Literally just type in just listed. You type in just listed and all of a sudden your Canva templates pop up. And literally you can choose from hundreds of just listed templates. Just sold, just listed, just listed. For the sake of this video, let's just select this one right here. What do you guys think? This is a good one, right? So you click on it and you just click customize this template. And all of a sudden it pops up in here for you, right? So the first things that I always do when you take a look at something like this is come over to your brand. You already have your brand kit built and I shuffle the colors and all of a sudden it's branded. It's got my colors and everything that I need, right? So I always start there. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Oh, I guess that went the opposite way. Huge actual size. There we go. So once you have this, you have your brand. Next thing that you would do is you would just switch the text that's on here. If you have your website, just insert your website, www.creme.ai. Just listed, 123 Main Street. So then you literally just go through here and you're able to switch everything inside of this template where you see their picture. You guys just go to your uploads over here on the left. And what you could do is you could find the picture of you. If you don't have it already uploaded, you just click upload file. Upload file and upload a picture of you. Let's say that, that this is just me for the sake of this. And you just literally drag and drop it over their picture. Look at that. I'm already almost done here. I type in Nick Cram. Freedom team. And before you know it, I literally, and then the last thing you'd have to do is upload the pictures of your house, right? Like the pictures of your newest listing. So you just click upload. Let's say this is my newest listing. You literally just click and drag and drop over each one of these. Before you know it, I'm literally done, guys. The biggest thing that you have to do is make sure that you have your uploads. So you upload the pictures of your home, upload the pictures of you into here under your uploads. Beyond that, having your brand kit. So that way you can click at a drop of a hat, make sure it's color coded to you. And if you want, you can add pictures of your logo and things into here as well. Make sense, guys? I know you're probably thinking, man, it seems simple when you're using it. Here's the reality. It is simple, guys. Upload your pictures into here and drag and drop them uh, literally just on top of where you want your pictures to go. Drag and drop. Your brand kit on the side plus your uploads are going to be your best friends. These two buttons right here. If you guys want to be experts and dive into the other ones, be my guest. But here's what I'll tell everybody on this page. <laughs> everybody that's on this call, simple question to ask you guys. Are you a real estate agent or are you a graphic designer? Right? Are you a real estate agent or are you a graphic designer? If you are a real estate agent, here are the two buttons you are going to use inside of Canva. Upload. And brand. All right. Say it with me now, guys. Uploads and brand. These are the two buttons you are going to use inside of Canva when you are creating something. In uploads, upload pictures that you need and drag and drop them into your templates. Click, drag and drop. And then from here, you can just click on the places just listed to type in your information, right? 
And then anything that you guys want to find on the homepage is just here, searchable. Um, first time home buyer. Maybe you want to create something for a first time home buyer. Guys, don't try and create your own shit, your own stuff. Literally, first time home buyer. First time home buyer checklist. Click on it. Yeah, let's use this. Guess what, guys? What are the two things I'm going to use? Brand. Click on it. Switch it to my brand and my colors. Right? Might might even I'm getting crazy here, guys. I'm going to throw my logo in here. Drag and drop my logo. Right? So boom, got this in here. And I might also, because I always throw, I do recommend this, guys. On all of your images, have a picture of you on it somewhere. I always do recommend that. So let's just say, here we go. Use this image. And then this is a pro tip, I guess you could say. You see this BG remover? Right here, guys, when you upload a picture, that's background remover. That's probably the biggest tool that I use on here. The biggest uh, accessory tool that I use. And I could say, yeah, look at me. First time home buyers. Woo. And all of a sudden, I have a Creme Institute first time home buyer checklist. And then I could click on here and change some different things. Well, listen, family. Y'all want to become graphic designers? I'll bring on my graphic designer to blow your guys' minds who uses this 24-7. But that is not why any of us are here. You are here as a real estate agent learning how to use Canva. Minimal effective dose here, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Brand and uploads. Coming back to here. Something else I know that people have utilized this for. YouTube thumbnails. So you can say real estate, YouTube thumbnail. So look, family. Anything that you want to look for, just look for it in the search bar. And then you come down here. How much does a realtor make? And if you are creating YouTube videos, utilize one of these videos. One of these ones right here. Customize this. And guess, what are the two things I'm going to use here, family? Brand and uploads. So I come to brand, color template. Bam, now it's my colors. I come over here to uploads. If I want to take his picture out, which I do, upload and upload a picture of mine. Use the background remover. And before you know it, 10, 10 tips for real estate Canva. Wow, and look at that. I'm ready to go, guys. All right? I might even take this picture, upload. Me and Will Smith are on this one, right? There you go. Well, listen, family. Two things, brand and uploads. Am I making that clear enough for everybody on here? If you're using chat, if you're using Canva as a real estate agent, not a graphic designer, you use brand and uploads. Upload images, drag and drop. Literally, drag and drop. Here is a picture of Elon and his girlfriend, right? Drag and drop. Brand. Get your brand in order because that way I can just click this button and it's always on brand to my color scheme, which is what's important to this. And then what you do is you come back to home and you can search for something else right here at the top. Super simple. You wanted to use something for emails. Email, I would always type in real estate. And then we come down here. You have different email. If you guys want to create a new email signature, email real estate, come down here. Let's do newsletter. You've been trying to create a newsletter, but just haven't done it yet. Newsletter real estate. Here you go. Newsletter real estate. Click on this one. Customize. Guess what I'm going to do here, guys? First, I'm going to go to brand. I'm going to color scheme this. Make it my colors. Then you can literally just come into here in your uploads, drag and drop your pictures, and then type in anything that you want into your real estate newsletter. Don't overthink this. 
brand. Do you export it then as a PDF or do you, <clears throat> how do you send it so that they don't have to go to the Canva website to view it? Yeah, great question. So what you would do in the top right, thank you for asking that, whoever asked that there. In the top right, you would click share. And then here is where you can download it. And then you can select a PNG, PDF, MP4. So that's how you go through this one. Let's see other questions that we have here. Can you use branded uploads on the free version? I believe you have to use the paid version. I do believe you have to use the paid version to use the brand and uploads. There's that crown next to it, which I believe is the paid version. So going into this file type, that's where you can download it PDF and then download. And it downloads straight from there. Good question. And some of you might be asking, well, Nick, what do I put on the real estate newsletter? What information can I put on here? Right? So what I want to do is I want to show you guys some different things that you can use Chat GPT for to then bring over to Canva as well. The first thing I want to show you guys inside of Chat GPT, and this can be used on the free for free version of this is there is a Canva extension. There is a Canva extension within chat GPT. So if you guys go over here on the left, can you guys see my screen here? Explore GPTs. Family, this is maybe even an easier way to use Canva for those of you out there that are like, Nick, even all that, like I have to type in and search for things. Golly, I don't know if I can do that. All right, well, let's try something else here. So go over to explore GPTs. You always see Canva in one of the trending. Canva. So all you have to do is click on it and click start chat. What I would highly recommend everyone here does is once you do this, click on Canva here in the top left and then say, I, I don't want to keep in sidebar. Let me refresh this. So inside of Canva, you're going to want to click keep in sidebar. Why? So that way, every time I log in, it's Canva's just right over here on the left. Every time you log into Chat GPT, it's just over here on the left. And then I can say, create a first time home buyer. Buyer temp uh, post for Sarasota, Sarasota, Florida. So it says, create a first time home buyer post for Sarasota, Florida. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. Canva is always having fun with me on this one. Let's see. Let me try this again here. Luxury home sales. Cause Canva just created me one here. Mm -hmm. Let me try something here, guys. Canva creates a first time home buyer for Sarasota. Social, let's see, social media post. So here we go. So it's going to say create a first time home buyer for Sarasota, Florida. What do you want me to create? Social media post or something else? I said, create me a social media post. So now what this plugin does, here are some options. It's going to give me just options. I should type in real estate. All right, so here we go. I'm going to be a lot more specific on this. So this is where the communication with this is really important. Create me a first-time home buyer social media post for Sarasota, Florida. I am a real estate agent. Let's see what it comes up with. This will help me assist you better. Top five reasons. So then it's telling me, I guess this is sometimes Canva has fun on chat GPT. Anyways, so if you use just the Canva one, that's how it would work or not work for better lack of purposes. But here's how I used Canva on ChatGPT, guys. 
So last class, we showed you guys how to go through and train your chat GPT to give you guys different social media posts, to give you guys different outputs. So you will see on this one, let's see. So I created this entire thread for goals of luxury home seller. So this entire thread is made for luxury home sellers. So I went through and have all this information, right? So coming down to it. Let's start right about here. Now, write me a social media post using the goals above. So I'll go through and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. So if you guys follow along in our last class, you will see maximize your real estate success to the New York MLS. I think that's what we were talking about in this one and different ways you can utilize it. Now, using the Canva plugin, so as you guys create social media posts, emails, um, blog posts using Chad GPT, like we discussed in the last one, all you have to do is type in at Canva. So the at sign calls Canva now. So I type in at Canva. Now create me an image for the post above. Allow, there we go. So now it's going to create me an image for the post above. Nick, what was it that you hit right there as far as allow? Where was that at? So it's basically saying allow chat GPT to uh, talk to Canva. Gotcha. Okay. Some templates for your social media posts about maximizing the New York MLS. What I like about this is sometimes it gives you good some images. Sometimes, I guess, they're starting to give me a bunch. There we go. I don't know what these ones are. Quote. Thinking about selling, now's a great time to sell. Looking for a real estate agent. So what Canva does is it gives you options based on your post and information above for what to use for your post. And then all you have to do is click on create and customize and it opens up directly into your chat GPT. I mean, into your Canva. I'm sorry, guys, into your Canva. So from chat GPT, if you use the Canva plugin, I can click on this, create and customize, and then it jumps right into my chat GPT into my canva sorry i'm getting those once i'm in my chat gpt using the canva extension i can click on it and then it opens up directly into my canva account and then guess what are the two tools that i use inside of my canva account uploads and brand first i go to brand and i get my color coding on it might even throw my logo on it drag and drop my logo And then I go to uploads and I always have a picture of myself or yeah, myself that I'm going to put on it. Remove the background. Thinking of selling and all of a sudden thinking of selling. I have it fully done for me. Is gptchat.com free? I don't chatgpt.com. Yeah, chatgpt is free. But all of a sudden, I take that images that chatgpt made. So first, I created my post, just like we showed you guys how to do last time. And then I asked Chad G or Canva to create a design for me. You click on it, and then you have your design inside of Canva. Get it more to my colors. Add my logo. All of a sudden, I have designs that are made completely for me. First, create your brand. I believe this is a paid version that you have to do there. Um, but then from there, the best thing you can do is just type in the top here what you are looking for. Yeah, like Andy said, it's 120 bucks for the entire year. Definitely well worth it if you're going to be using this to create graphics and images. And then just type in exactly what you want. Real estate. You can even just type in real estate if you just want to get images and ideas. And then different right. posts. You can say, um, luxury home seller. Come into here. We get that huge and luxury house tour. So if you have a luxury house, there you go. My dream home. Other examples. Right. So I just, start, right? I, right. I just did that and just popped up a, a, a lot of information. Yep. So, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to go through this one more time too, guys. Inside of ChatGPT, because I this is the way I utilize it mostly. 
I create different things inside of chat GPT. If I come down to here, let's see, what are other things? Blog. Expired leads relisted strategy. So then we went into this. This was something I was creating for expired leads. Create a pamphlet for expired leads. So here we go, guys. Inside of here, I literally just told it, create a pamphlet for expired leads. I trained it how to do this. Is your home still unsold? Discover how AI can get your home sold fast. So went through everything here. That's a pamphlet. At Canva. So now I do at Canva. Now create an image for the pamphlet above see what canva comes up with you can create a simple and effective pamphlet by incorporating the following influence guys at this time i wanted to keep it simple like i said i can go deep into background removers how to use the different ai tools the best place for you guys to go is build your brand kit and then uploads and brand those two are your best friends Keep it simple. Uploads and brand. Those two are going to be your best friends. With all this, I will just say, don't underestimate the value of seeing consistent branding over and over and over and over and over again. I'm sure, I mean, we all know the target symbol and their target brand, right? Like you don't even need to see the rest of the name. It's just that circle, two circles, right? Two red circles and you think target. Don't underestimate the value of a consistent brand. Using Canva, using their brand kits on there will help you guys be consistent. Don't overthink it. The templates and everything are already there for you. So with Canva, now with the tools that I showed you, now you can be super consistent at a click of a button. Don't overthink it. Inside of Canva, your two best friends, I'll show you guys one more time, be these two bad boys right here. Brand and uploads. Inside of brand, it's literally customized to my brand right there. Throw my logo on it. Drag and drop my logo. All of a sudden, it looks like I'm a freaking graphic designer. Uploads. Come over to uploads. Have my picture right here. Just sold. Wow. All those things, right? Don't overthink it. Brand and uploads. Yeah, I want to show you guys one of the biggest hacks right here. So check this out, guys. I was going through this the other day and somebody asks me a question. They said, how can I do that in my CRM? And I was like, all right, how can you build a drip campaign in, in KV Core? I want to just show you guys how useful this stuff is. You can literally go to Chad GPT and say, how can I build a drip campaign in KV Core? It's going to go step one, step two, step three, step four. Step five. So why am I bringing this up, right? Because Jeff and I think Kimberly here is asking a question. It's a pretty good question. And I can say I have a postcard campaign I built in Canva. I'm a real estate agent. How can I send the card out? Which companies to use? Let's see what it comes up with. Vista Prince. Every door direct. Use USPS. Prospect Plus. Huh. And then you can even just say, how do I take it? Oh, there you go. It's going to tell me right here. Finalize your design. Choose a mailing list. Upload an order. How do I take it? From Canva to the company. Like literally any question. Finalize, download, upload to the company. Yep. The family. A lot of questions that you might have are in Chat GPT. You can ask it literally, like I said, anything about your CRM. You want more information about your CRM, how to set things up, go here. Questions about what companies to use, go here. That's actually going to be one of the newest things that we're looking into that we are just starting to dive into more is SEO on Chad GPT. That's going to be the new gold mine, the new gold rush. Everyone used to Google SEO. There's going to be a Chad GPT SEO too. What, what, what's an agent that I should use in this area? We're already starting to have some agents get business from that. It's pretty dang cool.
Four O is more complicated. You can move, do more things with it. What you can do with four O, your memory is included. You can do graphs on four O. It can read more materials. Four O Mini, it's just the fastest one where you get the fastest information. Chat GPT four, it's not as high powered. It doesn't write as well. I do all of my writing on four O. That's the biggest thing that I would say. I do all my writing and I can create graphs in four O. Just for example, I think I covered this a little bit last time, but inside of 4.0, I can literally upload the MLS numbers that everybody here gets every single year, right? Or every single month that your MLS sends you and then tell it, these are the numbers from April. Now create me a graph. Graph for Cleveland, Ohio dollar volume. Let's just see what it comes up with. But 4.0, you can create graphs and things and images more so inside of chat GPT. So I can literally go into April, the MLS numbers that I just got, and then tell it to generate me a graph. Very simple because there's only two numbers on this. But in theory, guys, you can take everything. You can take anything that you guys have and then tell Chad GPT to create your graph, create you information if you upload the numbers. Because then you can say, now write me a blog post and explain, explain what the graphs mean for sellers. And I always say, use humor. So I can literally take the same boring numbers that everybody gets that your clients don't read. Let's face it. If you send your guys' clients a thing on dollar volume or market absorption rate, they're not reading it because they don't even understand it, right? You can come in here, tell it to create a graph, now create a blog, use humor, why Cleveland sellers should be dancing like it's 2024, creep recap, and it goes through this. And then I can say, at Canva, now create an image for my blog post above. But what you could do is they then have this and then say blog post, blog post real estate inside of Canva. Boom. Then I'll use this for my blog post. Here's the title. No, before jumping in and then upload a picture of Cleveland. Let's see, Cleveland. Let's see what it comes up with. No results. Nope, not going to the Cleveland Orchestra today. Images. Wikipedia. Upload. No, not exactly what I would do, but you guys kind of get the picture of what you can do on ChatGPT 4.0, separate, create graphs. I love the graphs feature, guys. Take any list of numbers and create graphs. Before you go on appointments, you're going to literally take numbers, create graphs, and then ask it, now create a synopsis. Tell me why sellers would like this. Tell me why my sellers should look at these numbers. And it'll literally go through and give you information um, based on the numbers that you provide to it.